when someone says, okay, long story short, but then keeps talking for like eight to 12 minutes. Now, the only thing I hate more than that is when someone says, you know, I would tell you more, but it's just, it's such a long story. So I go and I schedule, like, let's get together Wednesday, one o'clock, <laughs> meet on Magazine Street at a coffee shop, let's do this. I go, I pay for parking, $8 worth, because who knows where the story could go, okay? And I order something, because I'm not gonna be rude. I sit down, there they are, they show up late. <laughs> and then you know what it is? I say, hey, all right, all right, I'm ready. Talk to me, what's going on? And they're just like, oh, Greg's just been an asshole lately. Like, I just wasted $32? <laughs> uh, <laughs> you know, I want a story. So tell me more about Greg. Is he impotent? Are you a witch? Did you cast a spell? Make this worth my meal. Stacy. People in the South are so nice, I guess. Uh, my neighbors check my mail for me. <laughs> I never asked them to. I've actually written notes indicating I would like them to stop. They don't read those notes, but they read my mail. <laughs> I've learned so much about my neighbors, even during quarantine. Like my upstairs neighbor, I figured I should get to know her because I've been using her Wi-Fi for two years. <laughs> I know that she loves to wear boots inside her house. She never walks around barefooted. I can hear that. <laughs> I know that she loves wind chimes. <laughs> I know that because she owns four of them and it's windy all the time. <laughs> and I know she hasn't changed the battery in her slow alarm in three and a half months. Yeah. So maybe she's dead. <laughs> I don't know, but she does pay the Wi-Fi bill, so that's always good. Um, I mean, this. You ever heard the expression chasing women? Oh, these guys are always chasing women. So my friend, he's constantly chasing women and he ends up with really, really big girls usually because they're slow and easy yeah. to catch, you know? They, a lot can't, easier than, yeah. they can't run that fast. But I, you know what's weird is like, you gotta watch how you word things. Like for instance, my friend Dan, we're all hanging out and he's like, you know what, I'm just gonna throw it out there guys. I like to fuck big girls. Like, woo, yeah, go with you, that's great. And I'm like, hey, I like to fuck little girls. And people are like, I, I mean petite. <laughs> I mean petite, obviously. Oh Wording. Wording is really important. Another situation, when I first moved to New Orleans, okay, I lived in Tremaine. I went to a coffee shop. I wanted to boast about how I live in like, this historical part of the city. They said, oh, Tremaine, how do you get home? They've been shooting out there for the last three days. And the police have had a lot of the roads blocked off because of it. Shooting. I made my way home and I did not leave for a week. Because they didn't just simply say, filming. They've been filming out there for the last three days. Words matter, people. Sweet. Like for instance, like we say good morning when someone wakes, right? But we never say good morning at a wake, you know? We never like, your morning is like really, really good. Like the tears, you are obviously very emotionally connected to that dead person. We never say good oh, good and a good morning to you. Would you like a tissue? Your morning great this evening. Okay, no problem. That's fine. Um, there's a few toys that were supposed to be released last year, but they didn't make it. Um, one of them was a divorce party. She comes with all of her own accessories and all of Ken's accessories. It's really great. And then there's San Francisco Ken. He comes with all of Barbie's accessories. Didn't make it through. Then you guys remember those pull string dolls from back in the day? You pull it, it says different phrases. So they have like this new PC pull string doll. You pull the string and it doesn't say anything because it might offend somebody. Yeah. So it's great. It's good for the family. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> and then they have a, a great game for like kids to get to know their grandparents. It's called Guess Who. It's like a traditional game from Hasbro, except you tell your grandparents stories and they try to see if they can remember that they're related to you. It's, it's good. It's a good <laughs> game. It's called Guess Who I Am. <laughs> uh, 
And it's, it's fun for both parties, right? Because you don't know if she actually has Alzheimer's or she just doesn't want to pay for your college. It's, a, it's fun. It's good. Because the slot machines really deserve her retirement more than you. I mean, with the slot machines, they've won a few times. How much have you won? <laughs> My church is non-denominational. They don't care if you put a 10, a 5, a 20. Ugh, it's money. Thank you. I walked by a strip club, and the promoter was standing outside. He says, come on in, no cover. And I'm like, duh, I know how strip clubs work. <laughs> you mean they're all naked? Oh, great. I don't like going to strip clubs, and I know for a fact that all the really hot women are not working that night. I'm getting like the leftover stuff, right? So I only go to strip clubs on Father's Day because I know they don't have any other plans. Oh. You know what I mean? They're not busy, they're working. They're working hard, you know? <laughs> I don't understand why people watch porn when they're horny. When I'm hungry, I don't watch people eat. I'm never like, this looks too like, I'm just gonna sit here for like 45 minutes until this gets uncomfortable, I need a nap. <laughs> you gonna kick me out? I got a few more. We're good? Alright, alright, I'm fine. See, women tend to think that men like porn because a guy can have sex with this hot woman that he hardly knows. Ladies, that is not the part of the fantasy that we like. The part that we like is that he can have sex with a beautiful woman he hardly knows and then doesn't have to feel obligated to remember what food allergies she has, what co-workers she's not getting along with that week. <laughs> That's, Amen. it's the lack of commitment. <laughs> she could be uglier, didn't matter, you know? <laughs> I honestly thought Fifty Shades of Grey was porn for the elderly, you know what I mean, because of, of the hair situation. Fifty Shades of Grey, go there with me, it's okay. <laughs> and it must be really difficult to date a porn star, right? Because of like how faithful they could possibly be, right? So imagine, imagine you're dating this beautiful porn star. She comes home, she's like, honey, can you just sit down for a second? We need to talk. We're like, ooh, this is a big deal, okay. She's like, look, I want you to know I slept with someone else. And you're like, uh, I know what I signed up for. I know what you do, it pays the bills, no big deal. She's like, no, 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 you don't understand. I had sex with another person and it wasn't work related. So you're just sitting there saying, okay, so what you're telling me is that you had sex with someone and it wasn't filmed and you weren't paid for it. And she's like, yeah. I'm like, then bitch, you got cheated. Why are you fucking for free? <laughs> Cheating on yourself. $300, baby, come on. I paid for all this! Alright, last joke. I'm gonna get too emotional. I was having sex with a girl. I did. Yeah, Try stop. I had witnesses, it happened. Woo! I was having sex with a girl, and she does this thing. Ladies, please stop doing this thing. She does this thing, and she's like, deeper, deeper. And I'm like, it's a dig, not the Star Wars franchise. It's like, oh, you thought you saw all the dick? I had all this extra dick. I wasn't gonna give you all this extra dick, but since you asked for it, that's great. I would never, ever be having sex with a girl and be like, shallower, shallower, come on. I wanna hit a wall, does it ever end? <laughs> Plus it can't get any shallower when you meet on Tinder. I mean, it's just gross. <laughs> I'm Chris Franklin. Thank you guys so much. Oh, uh, Chris Franklin, everybody. One more time. That's the one. Are the bronze?